Hey guys, and welcome back to Thrift Shop Finds. Uh, finally back in the studio. We had a little break, and uh, we went out to... I don't even know where this is from. Uh, American Family Services, it looks like. And what's this from? Not sure. This is from somewhere. But uh, we Mystery went... Mystery place. We have uh, five bags and a large robot which I know is Transformers, I just don't know his name. And then um, we have our first segment is uh, Where's Forky? Well, no, our first what? segment is uh, Rebecca's Favorite Fine. So then uh, I know we changed them, so we're okay. okay. So then Rebecca's Favorite Fine. Um, I don't have a favorite find yet. What's is, Rebecca's favorite font? We're a bunch of jumbo yeah, words at the, today. At the end of <laughs> the show, uh, Rebecca will tell us what her favorite find is. That's <clears> it. <throat> and then uh, our second segment is Where's Forky? Um, looking to see where the other Forky is. We'll never know. Do you see him? No, that's why I said did I don't see him. Well, well, it's a never finding Forky, so... Hmm. I don't think you'll ever find him. I'm not sure. We'll find him. Maybe he found some. Maybe. I don't see well, him. let's go into our first uh, stuff. Here is a 16 inch uh, transformer. Um, he's huge. He does not have, uh, he's very loose with his legs and arms. Um, but it does, he does have an Autobot symbol there. And uh, he's just gigantic. So this does say, where am I struggling? Because you like to struggle. Uh, it says Hasbro uh, 2013. So we'll find out his name, but he's gigantic. He doesn't even want to sit. Oops. Nobody wants to sit. They always run away more comfortable. So then our next bag is a uh, Fisher Price Rescue Heroes. And what's his name? Fireman Sam. Nope. Fire. It's the guy with the wardrobe changes and the big mustache. His name is Fireman Sam. Billy Blazes. Then who's Fireman Sam? I don't know. I swear, one of that. the characters was Fireman Sam. No. Are you sure? There was a Sam something. But I don't remember what it was. Maybe, I don't know. Quick National Geographic. Here's some dinosaurs. It looks like from uh, Jurassic Park. This one says... 2012 Mattel Fisher Price, Uni and Amblin, UNI. UNI. And then here's a very large one, or a long one, let's see. I don't know, he almost looks like the Velociraptor. Let's see if there's markings. It has the uh, Jurassic World um, logo on it, so he's definitely Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, something like that. And then, could this be blue? It is Jurassic World. Looks like the Velociraptor uh, named Blue, who had a blue stripe. That's the one that uh, was friends with uh, the handler. I would love to be friends with a dinosaur. Well, you can't trust them to try and eat you, but he was at least being nice. That's worth the risk. Here's another bag of dinosaurs. This one also looks like Jurassic Park. Uh, it is. This one is the one with the giant um, bone on his head. But they're all pretty big. I'll try and get the names. And do you remember this guy? He is not from Jurassic Park. 
Oh yeah, he's from The Good Dinosaur. He is from The Good Dinosaur. That movie was sad in the beginning. Yep. But it was a good movie overall. So we will, uh, we'll get his name as well. Yeah, that was a good movie. I didn't like the beginning, but I did like the kid and the beginning. What part of it? So then we have the wasp. And we have, um... Black Widow. And do you know his name? Tentacle Man. This is Doc Ock, Dr. Octopus. I was close. How about him? Iron Man? He's the Silver Surfer. I do he not even see had a surfboard. A surfboard. Here is one, two, three, four. Uh, Doctor Octopus tentacles probably go into a different figure. And we have a minion in a tracksuit. Uh, five Nights at Freddy's. I think so. I think that's a probably Five Nights at Freddy's keychain. And there's a bunch of little things in here. Here's a football maze puzzle. There's a top with a smiley face. There's a basketball pencil topper eraser. There's a little hole there. Here's a football uh, eraser. And another smiley face uh, top. Okay. Are those those spinner things? Yeah. Ah. You can spin it on the other side too. Nana always carries these. Yeah. It's just harder. No, I'm, I, I don't know if you actually can. Yeah. I'm just teasing. Watch me struggle forever. Yeah. We like that. <laughs> this says um, that this was from um, Oops. Karen Share down in Souderton. That's the tag I'm Ooh. pulling off right now. So we have a uh, fidget spinner. It's missing the other side of the spinner. So I think that's probably the issue. Why it's not spinning? Yeah. We have uh, the Catmobile from PJ Masks, or the Catboy Mobile. And then there's something in here, but I have no idea what it is. And we'll have to see what it is. Is it a surprise? I don't know. From Karen Share. Something I bought at some point. So the first thing is a car pencil sharpener. You see it's a pencil sharpener in the back? Oh yeah. And a pencil sharpener on the bottom. Old fashioned cars seem pretty cool until you actually get to drive one. Yeah. This is like a Model T or something like that. I'm trying to see if I can get this tag off so I can see the um, where it was made. A lot of times these were made in different countries. So it says 1917 on the car. And then the pencil, um, pencil sharpener itself. Does not say where it was made. So that's a shame. Made in who knows? Okay. It's a so I think I remember what this is. This is pretty cool. Somebody made this. So it's gonna fall. I'm gonna get to it. I'm just gonna pull a sticker off quick. I can show you. Okay, you ready? It's a railroad tie. So it's a real metal, real railroad tie that somebody welded a little rail car onto. Aww. So very cool. I remember seeing this. I'm like, how neat is that? So 
It's an actual railroad tie, and they made it look like a train track. What's a railroad tie? So the railroad tie is what they would hammer in. See how there's a point to it? Yeah. They would hammer this into the uh, railroad to hold it on, hold Which the tracks. track, hold the track on the the railroad ties. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. I would That's have cool. to have a lot of patience to build something tiny. I lose patience very fast. Hmm? I said I lose patience very fast. Like hmm. if I can't get it done within a couple of seconds, actually no, a day or two. Yeah, if it's not. If it doesn't take a while, sometimes it's not worth doing. You know, you got to do it right. I mean, unless I was like an architect, then I'd be like, I'd take forever. But okay, so Rebecca, what is your favorite find of the night? I would have to say the the train pin thing. This thing. Mm -hmm. So her favorite find is the. Uh, train tie with the train welded on it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't have any other markings, so somebody truly made it, but pretty neat. Do you think Granddad would make that type of stuff? He did a lot of wood, not a metal. But I so don't he know. could like build stuff out of wood. Mm -hmm. He made animals and um, like the reindeer, like those big reindeer cutouts. Oh, yeah. He did that. So, uh, Rebecca, where is Forky? Well, I know where the big one is. So, Big Forky's right here. Where's Little Forky? I think we lost him. Do, do we know? Unless we hit him, and then we just forgot where we hit him. Which is a possible idea. Well, you see him. Where? Little Forky is right back here. I think he had fallen. But that's where he is. If you found him, great. If not, then you didn't find him. So Then you don't get your points. Yeah, I'm sorry. You fail. You lose. So if you like what you see, hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're going to keep making videos and having fun. And uh, I did promise a set change coming up. So uh, probably two more videos and then not a set change. A good time. And then we'll dump all of Rebecca's favorite finds in no. the garbage. No. Nope. Just kidding. Yeah, I would we'll be surprised some. if Dad would throw them. I would in never throw them. She'd be like, toys. bye, toys. So, have like a great night, story. and we'll see you soon. <laughs>